Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battle Lane video, and today I got the same video that I always make for all of the All-Star Battles, all the time, always. This is not a surprise. We know this. We know what level is the best for farming. I give it to you every month. I give it to you every month. It's Wave 49. Wave 49 has been relatively unchanged for the last few months. I think the only change, the only substantial change made to waves 49, 50, and 51 in the last, I don't know, four months is that Ultraman appears on wave 49 now instead of Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar singular point was appearing. And uh, now ever since Ultraman was added, Ultraman now appears there. So that's the only major change. Uh, this first wave is gonna net you somewhere between like 70 and 90 kills. You got to take it a little bit slow. There are the chopper spawners in the back. There's some mark light cannons. There's a ton of super X's and stuff like that as well. So take your time. Go through this slowly. The super X is very intimidating in the beginning. But if you can throw your Ultraman down or a Desgadora down and burn them. Clear them out as fast as possible. You're going to have a really easy time. The next few missions in this checkpoint. So, you know, missions 15, 51. They're not too difficult. Wave 50 really just relies on you taking control of the left half of the board, making sure that some of the heavy hitters like Ultima or G54 or Singular Point uh, to Jaguar don't make it to your leader. So just take control of that side. Look, they spawn in the middle on the screen right there. The two of them kill them and you can pretty much rush to the other side. Wave 50 spawns heavy hitters, but very, very slowly, very infrequently. So it is not insanely difficult to get through this node. Now, wave 50, wave 50, act, or 51, I'm sorry, actually has a more difficult challenge, and that is the uh, Godzilla Earth is moving down the right side of the field. You're facing, you know, the left side has this huge push coming down. The right side is Godzilla Earth. What do you do? My advice is push very, very, very hard on the left side of the field. Get all of those kills, and then worry about Godzilla Earth when he gets close to your leader. He's not going to get to you really quickly. It's going to be like... 15 or like 20 seconds maybe before he even comes close to you right maybe maybe even a little bit longer than that so you can really take your time and move through the left side of the board clear out all the kills and then take the crystal up before he even gets to you so that's my advice it really isn't any different than the other times that wave 49 50 51 have been the best for farming uh let me think of about any advice for nodes that are not 49 50 51 Wave 25 has some good kills. Wave 1 has good kills, and Wave 10 has good kills as well. Somewhere, I believe, in the realm of like 35 to 39, I think it's like 30, maybe 36, has a pretty decent chunk of kills. I don't remember which one in the 30s it is off the top of my head, but... There are other really good missions for kills on, during the first half of the Ulster Battle that aren't Waves 49, 15, 51. However... Checkpoint 49 is going to be the easy, not the easiest, I'm sorry, but the uh, most rewarding of the missions because you have kill missions, you gotta remember, and you want to get as many kills as possible before the second half of the event so you can clear out these missions. Way 49, that very, very first push of, you know, all the choppers, all the super X, all of the stealth bombers, that's gonna be really, really good for boosting up your challenges. Mind you though, uh, if you're doing some of the specific uh, unit kill challenges like King Caesars, he can't really hit anything on wave 49, so you're going to have to use him more on waves 50 and 51. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to routinely farm these missions, make sure you're aware of what characters you still have to get kills with so you can use them in appropriate spots. Because you don't want to send King Caesar out on wave 49 and him to just get decked by all the choppers and the, and the super X's. So that goes without saying. But that's all I got for you today. It is the same advice that I've given you every month for the last four months that waves 49, 50, 51 are the best for farming. And it looks like until it gets a serious nerf, it's going to stay that way for a while. So I hope that you found this information useful again. If this is your first All-Star Battle, this is, this is a freebie for you guys. Super easy information to follow along with. So thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.